and um, I'm a contemporary uh, oil painter in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and um, I'm very proud to be showing my work at the Meyer East Gallery uh, on Canyon Road uh, in Santa Fe. When I first began to paint, I painted almost exclusively um, abstract, uh, non-representational. And I think I started out that way because I was really trying to become familiar um, with the medium. And it was just a chance to be very expressive and I could learn uh, a lot more about just how I was applying paint to the canvas. And after a couple years, I started introducing um, more figurative uh, aspects to the work. And so I would say that I've done that probably uh, since 1993 or so, uh, that I've been painting more in the style I do now. I think one of the most challenging parts of painting, or being an artist, is patience. Um, and that has taken sort of a different meaning as um, I've worked throughout the years. When I first started painting, I was so anxious for something to happen um, that I would get in there and scrape off the paint and there would be paper towels all over the studio filled with oil paint medium. And it was because I was anxious um, for something to pop through the surface that would lead me on my direction. Then as I worked through the years, I realized that that made for the best work is to leave all that surface on there, to step away from the painting, to go do something else, let that paint set up. And so I had to be patient to let that build. But there are a lot of things that um, serve as inspiration for me. I think one of the main things is just the materials I work with. I think it's very inspiring to um, work with oil paints and uh, the possibilities um, that that affords me. Um, the other things are just things out of my personal life. Um, like I said, a lot of my work uh, refers to personal subject matter. Um, I can be inspired by my pets. I can be inspired by looking out the window of my studio. Music, um, I'm inspired by uh, many artists that um, I've seen in museums and many places in the world. I think nothing's probably more inspiring than travel. You might see new patterns in fabric. You might see a wallpaper that might inspire you. Sometimes it's just the shape of an object. Um, I can take a walk and go into an antique store and there might be something in there that just has a certain mass to it that uh, is something that I think that I might be able to put on canvas and do something with that. Many years ago, uh, I was talking to someone who was looking at my artwork and he asked me the question, he said, who gave you permission to paint like this? And I thought that was kind of an interesting question because what he was actually saying to me was uh, that there must be some set of prescribed rules that I had to follow as an artist. I realize when um, people look at artwork, they bring their own experiences um, to their experience of looking at a painting. And so whatever my intention is um, that I did when I painted the piece, um, there's sort of a circle that they make complete uh, when they bring their own experiences and um, decide what that painting may mean to them. Um, so at that point I really don't have control over that. So what I would like someone to take for my artwork? Well, I would like them to find the humor in the work. I would like them to see that um, it has been created from a very joyful and celebratory place. I would like them to know that their own experiences have a very big part on the meaning of the painting because as they view it, um, it may bring back memories to them or it may um, give them ideas to be creative themselves or um, just to appreciate um, art.